Okay, so I've made a lot of videos trash and bless, and I think I had do good reason to do so. There's a lot of things about this game that don't look too good, especially the shadiness of the developer. But there are some things that actually do look good, and I want to take some time to take a look into some of these things and uh, let you guys know my opinions on these things. I also want to announce that I will be playing Bless because someone who is a subscriber uh, took the time out to give me a free copy of the game so I could try it out and give my impressions on it. And also for you guys out there who are thinking about playing Bless but don't want to put money into another basically a scam or a product that you aren't sure is worth your money will get a very honest guaranteed honest 100 review from me about a week or two after bless releases also i'll be streaming the game so you can stop by and get my live impressions there i'll be streaming on twitch at my twitch lol hero twitch so make sure you go follow me over there and uh, without further ado let's get into some things i like about bless now, as you guys know, I am a PvPer and a PvPer at heart. I love PvP, and Bless does have some very interesting PvP ideas. So, for starters, there's factions, just like there was in Arc Age, where if you come into contact with an enemy faction on uh, at, as early as level 30, PvP begins. Now, the level cap is 45, but on the way to get into the level cap, you will be engaged in PvP and a lot of popular PvP grind spots without the, have to worry about losing your karma and uh getting penalized just for attacking another player of course this is a very cool feature for me as a pvp or i love open world pvp and i'm sure there will be a lot of fun to be having had in these kind of environments especially at the beginning of the game when there are a lot of people who are just starting out that's what a lot of people are looking forward to the most about bless is the beginning of it because at the beginning of mo is when it's usually the most popular so it's going to provide a lot of uh interesting encounters with people and hopefully have a lot of fun there there's also a lot of different PvP battlegrounds and arenas that, of course, I don't know which will be implemented and when, and I don't know if they're all going to come out on day one. Supposedly they will. I don't know, but there's a lot of things. There's 100 v 100 and shit like that. Numbers don't really impress me, though, until I see how the game plays in a large scale environment. Just saying 100 v 100 doesn't really get me hype until I know how it's going to work. You know, there's also some objective based PvP, and there seems to be a lot of emphasis on PvP in this game, which can never be a bad thing, in my opinion, as I am a pvp -er, and if you are a pvp -er, then there's that so the next thing is the combat revamp combat revamp the combat revamp looks actually pretty interesting i'm not sure how it's gonna balance out in comparison to the old bless but the old bless looked very stale and boring this looks like it has some kind of uh, intuition some kind of uh, inspiration i should say as to how they want the player to play the game the way your character moves around when they attack looks pretty decent it looks on the level of almost final fantasy 14 but not that high i would say um another thing is that the bosses and the monsters have telegraphs on further attacks which is very reminiscent to final fantasy 14 and it does excite me a little bit that maybe there will be some interesting pve in encounters in here i'm not against pve i love pvp and i, I don't mind some good pve so i've heard of some good things about bless when it comes to pve in the old version of the game before this combat revamp so hopefully it will get even more interesting with this new combat revamp it's something i'm very interested in looking forward to and checking out Another thing I'm very excited about, about when it comes to Bless is the character design. Believe it or not, I actually do like the character design here. It reminds me a lot of Terra, which I do like Terra's character design a lot, but it looks a little bit more updated. Not a lot, but just a little bit more updated than Terra. There's going to be several races to choose from when it comes to customizing your character. And no classes are gender locked as far as I know, so that's a very good thing. I hate gender locking games, so that's very cool that you're going to be able to choose whatever gender you lock. But there, there is uh race locked so there are race lock classes but i mean that's not a really big deal to me gender lock is much more important and i'm glad that there's not there there's also a very decent amount of variety and customization when it comes to your character and the clothes that they wear do look pretty good the costume designs don't look too bad now that i've taken a chance to look at them as i've gotten more interested in the game that doesn't look too bad and also that segues me into the world design and the backgrounds and things like that 
these things don't look too bad either they don't look specifically inspired but they don't look terrible either they look passable i know i've said time and time again that bless looks like another generic mmo and i'm not gonna lie it still does but it looks like it's at least of some some sort of quality it isn't just something that somebody just pulled out of their ass it looks like they tried somewhat to make this look like a decent game hopefully it's well optimized and works pretty well the ui while i wish i could scale it down and it's already been confirmed that you can't scale it down doesn't look too bad either it's not terrible i do not like the basically default times new roman numbers that pop up when you attack i wish they had done something to make that look a little bit better maybe there'll be a mod or something like that but uh as far as the ui goes i don't think it looks terrible i think it looks passable that's how i feel about a lot of this game it looks passable and maybe passable is all people need right now is there aren't really other any, any other mmos on the market that are passable especially not any new ones so i can't understand the the attraction to bless when it comes to that another thing i really like about bless is that it's going to be composed by hans zimmer this guy has made some legendary scores one of my favorite being the score for the lion king and he's actually making music for bless online now i have never heard and listened to the music from bless online this doesn't guarantee that it's going to be good music but actually i think that that is a very good sign at that they are trying to make a quality experience that they went out of their way to hire a a very 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 prominent musician uh composer in the music world so i'm very impressed with that hopefully it sounds as good as hans zimmer's best work Another thing I really like is the mounting and the pet system in this game. Basically, any monster in the world that's, you know, a monster or animal that you could ride, obviously you can't do it to humans, you can capture them and ride them as mounts and things like that if they fit the criteria. I'm not sure what that criteria are. Keep on, I never played this game, but I do think that that's very cool that you can get your own mount. You just have to go out and find it and things like that. I think that makes a very variety varied experience a lot of variety there for people who want to have a different mount than someone else they can just go capture one so i do think that's very cool and adds a lot to the world and things like that Another thing I really like about Bless, something that I think they've gotten from Black Desert that's a positive thing, is that there will be no player trading. Yes, no player trading. And the great thing about no player trading is what that does is it really pushes away bots. Not only that, but since the game costs a pretty large amount of money to start up, it's going to make a lot of sense that a lot of bots are going to stay away from this game. And if they did come, they won't be able to make a lot of money. The only way people are going to make bots make money is if they allow you to access their account. And everyone knows that bots who access your account are uh, way less profitable than bots that just can give you the goal outright so that's a very good thing that they are doing this i know a lot of people complain about the immersion factor because you can't trade but listen man at the end of the day something has to be done about bots and this is pretty much the only guaranteed way to stop them from ruining the experience for everyone else it's a it's a, it's a large price to pay i know but it must be done and lastly, Bless does run on Unreal Engine. It isn't running on a proprietary engine that uh, some offshoot developer made like Pearl Abyss. So you can expect to have some decent optimization as the game will be running on an engine that has been used by developers for hundreds of years. Not hundreds of years, I'm just kidding. But it will be most likely better optimized than most games. Obviously, this is just a prediction of mine, but I do think it's going to come true. I haven't played any game that was on the Unreal Engine that wasn't really optimized to my liking in a, in a very very long time it's been a long time since that happened so hopefully they've done a good job with the unreal engine it does excite me in some ways that this game will run smoothly and that is very important when it comes to gameplay uh, you could have the coolest flashiest game in the world but if it doesn't run right in certain scenarios it's gonna ruin the experience for the player and uh, black desert was a huge culprit of this when it came to the large-scale pvp scene and that's it guys those are all the things i'm excited about when it comes to bless like i said i will be playing this game if you do want to watch me play it make sure you check out my twitch link is in the description um and also let me know if you guys are going to be playing in the comments below maybe we can meet up and hang out in game uh anyway it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace